Uh, this one here uh, was my first tattoo. Uh, the original, just classic uh, block M with the Michigan through the center. Got that when I was uh, about 21 years old. Took a little while for some new ones to come on, but then we came up with the these ones. We wanted to say something about the Michigan Wolverines, pretty simple in text, so we came across with these ones. This one was uh, something we came up with in regards to the age of the football program, uh, which identifies the skull in, in there with the Hail to the Victor song, with the tradition of the program being with its age. Went on to go on with this tattoo of Charles Woodson, who was my favorite football player from coming from Michigan, incorporating all of the national uh, championship dates, which, uh, of course, he was a part of the last championship team uh, with the school. Uh, next, we came over with the uh, all but famous phrase of those who stay will be champions, something to honor Bo, basically, is what that one's about. The Block M here was something that we wanted to do in regards to not only covering up a scar uh, that I had from when I was younger, but kind of a, a way of saying I, I bleed maize and blue. Um, the Roxy tattoo, she was my dog who we put down earlier this year, but she was my Michigan fan, sat with me my through game days with clothes on and things like that. So that was just a little something to... Uh, throw in with her on so this one. tattoo was done with uh incorporating my wife but uh with my wife uh being a fan as well and uh not quite as big as i am of course we we threw it within the hockey stick here with the block m and just saying michigan through the shaft of the stick as well um next up we're gonna go down here we actually saw this on the back of a t-shirt i just really liked it it kind of had a little bit of a tribal kick to it so we just kind of threw that one in on my calf just for simple fact that i like the design this tattoo here could have potentially been uh, my last one uh, in regards to the fact that uh, my friend, who's also my artist, had suffered a severe medical condition and uh, we decided to let's see what he could do after that incident and this is what came out of it and uh, with great success as you can see. Um, this one is their original first logo back from 1917 if I'm remembering the uh, math correctly here in my head um, just something I wanted to do very cool logo um, honestly if we could have put it somewhere else we probably would have though and done it a little bigger and that's because <laughs> sorry Adam yeah that's pretty cool but last but not least the piece in, in, in progress right now is uh, the Michigan's drum line uh, which we discovered was just from uh, 2014 uh, of an image that we had uh, kind of taken this for an inspiration with and now we're going to finish this off.